I'm so sorry that I missed last week. I was really busy because I had an event that I was throwing and it took up all of my time and I was like, everyone's gonna know that my fifth video is missing. I'm a week late, but I wanted to talk to you guys today about why your vibe attracts your tribe. I put together three things. I mean, these three things are pretty crucial. Okay, number one, reoccurring patterns. You're doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. If you're broadcasting the same mental and emotional frequencies, you cannot expect to have a different outcome. Every thought basically has its own invisible vibration frequency. So this is what we send out. And in return, we attract a whole flock of people they match those thoughts. So because our emotions drive our words and our actions, the more we say, the more we share, the more people we attract, the more people can relate. You know what I'm saying? If you can't listen to yourself, you're basically flying blind. And ultimately, this leads to you being completely confused as to why you're attracting these dysfunctional people. You're like a magnet to dysfunction and or just people that you may not really like all that much. The second thing is, Still being yourself. Like you would think that that is so obvious to be yourself, but it's not. So many people are not themselves. Do not pretend to be somebody that you're not. Obviously that's not going to bring the right type of people your way because it's so super important to find your tribe. These are the people that are going to get you. You know what it is to have somebody get you? You know, they share your interests, they cheer you on, they're your support system. And we talk about support systems so much. I mean, I feel like I bring them up so much because I feel like they're so important to me to have that support system, to have those people that you're constantly like, yes, you get me, yes, you're supporting me in life, yes. We all need those. Feeling lost is not uncommon. There are many points in my life where I have felt lost points where I haven't connected with people. And that's why a lot of people may say, oh Chantal, you're so quick to drop people like this. I guess I just have in the past few years been finding my tribe. You don't add anything to my life. I'm not adding anything to your life. So why are we, whatever this is, why are we here? And you know what I do find? Trinad has this dysfunctional way of saying, okay, you grew up with these people, they're over here. You have to stick with these people. No, you don't. If these people do not fall into your category of fun and love, why should you be a part of this tribe? That's another thing. You don't have to have one tribe. You can have multiple tribes. You can literally have different friends from different groups. That's being yourself. There's many different types of yourself. You do not need to impress anybody. There's this whole stigma around being a certain way, impressing certain people, going out, doing this. Like, it's just so much. Okay, moving on to number three. Be active and positive. So join a club, start a new hobby that you've always wanted to. I know that that's limited in Trinidad and other islands, but if you look hard enough, you'll find them. Introduce yourself to new people. Do not be shy. And I stress this, you're having a hard time finding people that have the same interests as you. Don't be putting out that negative energy because it just comes back to the fact that when you put out that negative energy, you're going to attract that negative energy. Constantly complaining, hey, I'm complaining too. Let's complain together. You bond on that negativity and then what are you gonna bond on on after that. You have this little like sad pity party, petty, pity, petty, pity party. And it all just comes back to the law of attraction. So with all that being said, cannot expect to have all of your people immediately. Sometimes you're lucky to have the same best friend growing up from when you were like four years old. And then sometimes you meet somebody in like your late 20s and you're like, wow, they are my best friend. Watch out for your reoccurring patterns. Be yourself and be active and positive. Till next time. Thanks, boss babes. Next week, I'm actually gonna be filming in Miami. I work and travel videos. So you guys can kinda gauge how to do both. Come on. Subscribe, subscribe. Mwah. Till next time. Next week.